Hi, and uh, welcome to volume four, I think it is, of my uh, favourite music albums of the 1980s. Um, as I've said before, I'm doing ten at a time because I've got that many. And it's my personal opinion, so, you know, if your opinion differs with mine, you know, we're all entitled to our own opinions. Um, but you know, leave comments below and let me know what you thought of these albums. Uh, so without further ado, here's the first one of the t this 10. Uh, this is from 1987. Uh, Depeche Mode, Music for the Masses. Um, not a very commercial success for them uh, after the uh, Black Celebration album, but for me, this is a very good listen. Um, you know, you've got Never Let Me Down Again, which is just awesome when they you know, play that one live. Um, Strange Love, uh, Little 15, Behind the Wheel. It's, um, it, it's uh, shall we say, Depeche Mode's best of, uh, for me, personally, as I said, from the 80s. It's just, it's got everything on there. Um, you've got Dave Garn, voices you know just strong as ever um martin gore sings on here as well you know he writes and sings but um yeah check it out download it if you want to or purchase the copy all right on to the next one this is from 1989 um simply red new i seem to find that uh I mean, I've got, I've got all of Simply Red's albums, but this one is the one I always seem to go to and put it in the player and listen to. Everybody, most people say Stars is the best, but for me, A New Flame from 89. Um, it's Only Love, you know, the tech track, you know, A New Flame, which is my one of the first there. Um, you've seen it. Um, if, you don't, you know, if you don't know me by now, that brilliant cover version they did. Um, you can't you can't knock me up and the boys on this one. They're on top form on this. So as always, look it up. The new flame by Simply Red. Um this one from 1986. Um American singer, um usually in a duo. Uh, this is his a solo album by him. This is Daryl Hall. Uh for say nineteen eighty six is Three Hearts in the Happy Ending Machine. Um Produced by David Stewart, Dave Stewart from um, the Arithmics fame. It, it is just a damn good listen, this. Um, I was quite surprised when I first heard it. I mean, I am a fan of Hollow Notes, don't get me wrong. But um, this is without uh, Mr. Oates, as we say. Um, this is showing us that uh, Mr. Hall can still rock out on his own. Um, you know, got the hit Dream Time on here. Um, I wasn't born yesterday. Only a vision. It's uh, you know, foolish pride is on here. It's American. You know, I mean, he is one of America's greatest, greatest. Uh, I would say from from the era, singers, singer songwriters, and this one proves that he's you know, he's still there. I mean, he's still going now. So give this a listen to Three Hearts in the Happy Ending Machine" by Daryl Hall. It's just it's fantastic. All uh, right, this one. So this is a cardboard cover, but it's the proper item. Um, people always go and say, oh, no, 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 Into the Gap by the Thompson Twins is the best album they did. But for me, the follow-up um, in 1985, Here's to, Here's to Future Days, is my favourite. It's the one I always go to to play. Um, you know, Tom Bailey and the guys, just for me, the eighties wouldn't be the eighties without the Thompson Twins. All the, you know, all the how many songs did they have? Out, you know, you can name quite a few. There's lots on here now. Um, Don't mess with Doctor Dream. Uh, Lay your hands on me. That's a good track. Uh, um, Revolution, the cover of the um, Beatles song, and uh, King for a Day, which uh, personally is one of my favourites. Uh, wasn't a, a big hit in the UK. And, as the single but um also the album wasn't commercially successful but 
I don't care about that, as long as it's a damn, say, damn good listener, as I keep saying. So, Thompson Twins, here's to future days. One of my uh, favourites from the 80s. Give it a listen, download, or purchase the real thing. Now, we'll go a bit darker now, from 1987. Um, I never heard of these until they, they hit the top 10 in the UK with the first track off this album. And then I looked into the history and I've you know, got most of the stuff they did. It's the Sisters of Mercy, Floodland. So, as I say, it's, it's dark, gothic. Oh, I don't know what I really want to call it. It's, it's just a, a, a brilliant atmospheric album. You know, you've got Dominion on here, Lucretia, My Reflection, um, and of course the big hit, which uh, was This Corrosion. If you, you know, if you're into that sort of ambient darkness, goth, this is it. This is one you should go for. It's the Sisters of Mercy, Floodland. Um, go for that one. Yeah, so now we um, go back to America. With the boss, yes, Bruce Springsteen and um, the Big E. Of course, I think everybody knows what I'm going to say. Here. Born in the USA, it's for me. It, it's his best album. I mean, he, he's brought albums out after this. I enjoy them. You know, I, I love some of the tracks on them. But for me, you can't top this album. He 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 manned gold. You know, he manned gold dust on this and. Um, you know, you've got the title track, Born in the USA, you've got Cover Me, um, I'm on Fire, which I just love. I mean, it's only about a two-minute song, but I just love that song. Um, I'm Going Down, Glory Days, My Hometown, and of course, uh, Dancing in the Dark. So quite a few hits on here. Um, it's just a wonderful album. <clears throat> I'd never sort of heard of him, Bill Springsteen, before until um, Dancing in the Dark sort of charted. And... Uh, so I've never really looked back since then. Um, I don't think Bruce has really. <laughs> so yeah, Born in the USA album. Yeah, you know, download, check it out. <clears throat> we come back to the UK now to um, 1989, The Cure with Disintegration. See the cover that? Yeah. Um, came back with uh, the Lullaby track, which is just mesmerizing as the video and the song's mesmerizing as well um you've got love song on here uh what else have we got fascination street um pictures of you uh Rob, robert smith he, he can't do anything wrong with me in my eyes because it's just <laughs> it's unique is robert smith that's all i can say unique and this for me is one of the best disintegration from h and m look it up all right, we're going to um, a, le uh, a guitar legend now, um, Mr. Eric Clapton, with August. This is from 1986, I think it was. Yeah, 86. Um, what can you say about Eric Clapton? Guitar, say, guitar legend, and also he's, he's got powerful, powerful vocals. Um, it's, you know, it's in the way that you use it's on here. Tearing us apart with thick, uh, a banging duet with Tina Turner, you know, tearing us apart. Um, also, we've got on here Behind the Mask, which is an, you know, it's a cool track on there. Um, it's just to me, he's a, he is a cool guy. Um, I wish I could play guitar like that, you know what I mean? I and I wish I wasn't too far with you, the money he's got as well. But yeah, Eric Clapton, August. Right, and that's the last two now. Um, a trio now. A trio here. Aha. Everybody, I think, has heard of Aha. Um, this is their second album, not their first. Uh, I prefer this one, uh, Scoundrel Days to Hunted High and Low. This one, for me, was more experimental for me. And Hunted High and Low was good. Uh, but it sort of played safe. This one, it it just pushed the boundaries a bit more for me. Um, you know, I've been losing you, Manhattan Skyline, awesome track, uh, Cry Wolf, 
Um, even the, the title track, first track on here, Scoundrel Days. Uh, it just just blows your mind away. And Morton Hackett's voice. Um, and he's still, he's, still, he's still got it. He hasn't lost his voice. He's still out there doing it. And there you go. That's Aha uh-huh, Scoundrel Days. Check it out, as I keep saying. And last but not least, a band from um, Sheffield in the UK. It was a bit on a high hiatus. And then also 1987, the burst back onto the scenes with Hysteria, Def Leppard. Um, and, you know, they shook the world with this album, didn't they, really? The, uh, so, still, still played today, you know, you've got women on here, Rocket, Alan, uh, An- what can I say, Animal, uh, Love Bites, Pour Some Sugar On Me, I'm Getting It, and the title track, um, Hysteria, it's just, um, packed, packed with rock anthems on here, and, to, you know, to, to say that, that at one point you didn't know if the, the band would continue after, you know, what had happened to them a few years before this release and they came back with this. It just, it's bottled magic, I would say, this one. Just, you know, they've pulled it and you know, they've got it there. So, Def Leppard, Hysteria. And that's the uh, 10 for this one. I hope you liked my choices because they said uh, these are personal favourites. Um, if you liked them, comment below. If you didn't like them, please comment below and let me know what you thought. Maybe you like another album by these artists. Um, if you didn't like the video, give us a dislike. Um, or give us a thumbs up. But hey, um, yeah, uh, we're also on Facebook, public group. You can you know, type in, we'll, be, we'll pop up. Uh, we're on Twitter at, uh, at Geeks Assembled. Uh, we've got Tumblr. I'm trying to sort out an Instagram at the moment as well. So we're, we're all over the place. And if you want to be part of our group discussions of movies and TV shows, just let me know. Uh, if you want to comment down on this video or, or find me on Facebook and, you know, let me know that you want to be part of it. We do everything, you know, cult movies, cult TV, modern stuff. Uh, we do audio dramas, so you know, uh, hosted by the wonderful Susan. So, please get in touch. And until next time, stay in the 80s.